What's up, guys? It's Mike, the Smoking Monkey, and we're back. Welcome back or to the channel. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. But today we are finally changing out that skid plate. So as you can see, I went for a ride and we've got very little gas left in the tank. So now we're ready to take off the skid plate, take off the gas tank. I've got a new skid plate as well as the new straps. You can see this big old box behind me here. And we're going to go and hopefully get that done today. And then we'll be ready to hit the trails again. So let's go. Let's start taking things apart. And one thing I noticed is a nasty whistling while I was driving. And I did take the hard top off for the first time last week. And now I'm missing a vent. Uh -huh. So I don't know if it came off or what. But the inside of the vent, so the actual, like the flaps, are still, we're still there. It's just this housing for the flaps that I'm missing, which is kind of stupid. I don't know what happened to it, where it went. Uh, I'm sure I can find another one quite easily, but yeah, what the hell happened here? Either way, if you guys don't remember from the last video, my skid plate is quite, quite beat up. It's all ripped and torn and wrinkled and pushed in and rusted and all kinds of crap so let's go let's start tearing this thing apart and let's get the new one in now the first thing we're going to do is unhook the battery and once we have the battery unhooked then we can start doing the fuel filler and the filler neck like the entire unit there I'll show you guys in just a second sorry i gotta put the camera down guys Okay. All right. Now you can unhook one. I did both just to be safe. We're going to take off the fuel filler here. It's four screws on the outside, four screws on the inside. And while he's doing that, I will start on getting the plate off. And I believe they are 13s. Actually, we don't have to do the four on the outside. Just got to do the four on the inside and the neck is free. And we're ready to keep going. So 13 mils all along this side. All of these. And these long ones with the studs coming out are your actual straps for your tank. So don't do those until the last. And don't worry about it being wet, guys. We just sprayed some PB Blaster to get the rust off. And we'll do the front and then I'll show you where the other side is. Okay. Couple of stubborn ones. This guy and this guy didn't want to come out, but with a little persuasion from Dr. Hammer, we got her out. No problem. Now we're going to get the jack in place before we do the other ones because we don't want this to drop on the floor and have a big mess. So let's get the jack in and we'll keep going from there. Okay, so after a little bit more of playing around, we got this guy to actually release all the bolts and it sat on this wood. We lifted it back up into the studs just so that it's easier to do the other side, which looks something like this. There is two studs in there, if you guys can see. One right there and one to the left. And there's one on this side, right in there. I don't know if okay. you guys can see it. Yeah, it's a little hard for me to get in there to show you from this side where that last one is. But it is literally on the corner right here, just on the front. And I'll show you guys a little bit better on the other plate. So let me pull that one out and show you exactly what we've got. Straps. 
set those aside. And there we have it guys. So as you can see, these are the four that we were doing on the back. Two for the straps and in the front we've got one, two and three. This is the one that was a little hard to show you guys, but that's basically what it is. It sits just like that inside the Jeep and your two straps actually go on top. So let's rip that one out and let's get this one in. We finally got this Swiss cheese out. And as you guys can see, I've collected a few uh, mementos from the trail, but it is completely like destroyed. And my straps are also destroyed. We had to actually snap them off because they weren't coming off at all. They were completely rusted to hell. And as you can see, there's a little bit of debris here from when we took the plate out. But we got one strap in right now for holding in the tank. The other strap we took out so we could get the plate out. And now what we have is we're holding the plate in uh, the plate. We're holding the gas tank in place with the jack and a piece of wood. And what we have to do is grab this plate, put the new straps in. The new strap will sit like so. So this end just feeds into here, sits there, and then we have to put our studs in on this end. And once we actually get the, the tank in and we get this mounted, that's when we'll tighten the straps down and tighten everything down. So first things first, we got to move that piece of wood, get this in between the tank and the piece of wood so that we can lift everything together, and then we'll bolt it all back up. And I'll give you guys a little behind the scenes. This took like three hours. <laughs> this, there was a lot of swearing, a lot of cussing, and it was all because of this guy right here. This one little bracket, this one little mount did not want to come off. The stud actually kept spinning inside the Jeep and we couldn't get a pair of vice grips in there. We couldn't get anything in there. So we had to actually cut it off eventually, which we drilled and then pried and all kinds of stuff because we didn't want to create sparks near the gas tank. But let me tell you guys, if anybody wants a 2001 Jeep Wrangler TJ, just come pick it up, put it back together. It's sitting here on my driveway. It's yours. <laughs> but no, seriously, this is a pain in the ass, guys. So if you guys are trying to do this, make sure you have help. So in all the other videos online, this is the part nobody shows you. How do you get the plate or the plate in between the jack and the gas tank to get it back in? And I'm not too sure either, but let's figure it out together. <laughs> so here we go. So now the plate is in, everything is lined up. Now we're just gonna put the straps in and bolt everything up. So to get the strap in, it locks in on the other side of the plate like so. So you kind of just gotta get her in there and lock it in. And then the other side is a stud. All right. 
right, so before we get it up there, we actually had to lay it down on the floor to get these straps on. And let me tell you, they are a pain in the butt as well. So <laughs> once you actually get these straps on, put your nuts in just so that they don't come loose. And now we're gonna lift the tank, put her on this piece of wood, put her on the jack, lift her up, and get all our studs nice and mounted. So now let's mount it up. That's that guys all of them are in it's a little bit dirty from being all over the ground but all the nuts went in nice and neat just like they should we've got our two new studs for the straps and we're just putting in the filler neck now and that's that and if I just stop kicking my tools but that's pretty much the whole job guys took us about five hours not gonna lie it wasn't easy because working on old crap like this is never easy which is why i wish i had a new jeep but we've got what we've got so we're gonna use it and we're gonna build it and hopefully you guys will be there with us this is the old swiss cheese looking plate and one of the better things about the new one is you can see it is one full piece so it is actually not going to be tearing apart at the seams like this one is as you can see it is ready to pop on this side too just like i peeled this side and hopefully this one holds up a little bit better and i do know there's a lot of better options out there there's some low clearance ones there's some thicker ones there's all kinds of different things but i'll be honest with you guys this one was half the price of those so I bought the cheaper one for now just because we're not trying to break the bank and it doesn't make a big difference to me yet. Once I lift the Jeep and I start going all out, then maybe we'll upgrade it. But for now, it's not a big deal. And you guys can see there is a lot of crap that fell out of there. And we also replaced these old straps and they were ready to go. So good thing we did that. Last thing left is just this exhaust hanger. There we go. Now our exhaust is hanging. And then I gotta sweep all this up. But I would say that this is definitely a job you guys can do at home if you're willing to do it and take your time. It will take you quite a bit of time, but just do it with somebody and it shouldn't be too bad. So shout out to David for helping me out today. And honestly, I don't know if I would have done it without him. <laughs> it's a pretty big job and it was a big pain in the ass for a lot of those steps, trying to get the straps on, trying to get straps off, and yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Now that we've got our plate in, we can go off-roading, and we can go hit the trails again, and destroy the plate again. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Hopefully, you guys can use this video when repairing your own Jeep, and let me know if there's anything else that you guys want to see, or anything that I missed. But definitely guys thank you for watching and i will catch you in the next one so don't forget to drop me a like and a comment and subscribe so you don't miss anything because there's tons more coming for this jeep and there's tons more coming for this bike too so if you guys want to see more on the bike then stay tuned because i've got lots more videos coming so till next time guys ride safe out there peace